You know, November is a time to put all of our learnings into action and application. Yes, so that is the best time to really make an impact with the people around us. Kaya naman, let's embrace our calling to love God and to love His people. So, keep a kiss next week, mga kadulos, only here at... The Best Announcements! Good evening, everyone! Welcome to Crossover Manila! Pwede mo pala pa kayo tayo mo for being here tonight. And can you greet that person? A happy Dulos anniversary! Alright, pala pa kanalin ang bawat isa. You know, you heard it right. We just celebrated our 31st two Sundays ago. And it's really awesome to see the whole Dulos family gathered at Coneta. Sino dito ka doon ka last two Sundays? Woohoo! Nakita niyo ba how we feel, Coneta? So you know, I'm so happy. Most of our uh, Dulos family invited their, their own family, their classmates, their friends. At nakita natin yung talagang buong Dulos family from Manila, Bulacan, Navotas, Cavite. Talagang pinuno ang, ang Coneta Asudo. Pwede ba natin palapaan ng Lord for that? Nakita natin marami talaga nangyari. And sito dito, andun ka the whole day nung, uh, ng ating anniversary. You know, in the morning, ang dami mga games, right? At ang uh, dami mga food na sinerve. Nakita ko, meron pa ako parang sorbetes doon. Meron mga kakanin. And it's really uh, something na bago talagang ginawa natin. May mga nakita tayo mga nag-perform. You know, yung mga ushers natin dito sa crossover, mga marshals, andito sila ngayon. Sumayaw yung mga yun. Palapakan natin yung mga mantower natin who dance and uh, really perform that, uh, that day. And nung afternoon naman, we've seen our international pastor, Pastor Cesar and Bishop Orient, really ministered to us with a really great impact. Kasi so, wala ka nung anniversary, pero you are waiting for the next year na mag-celebrate tayo ulit. Amen? Alright, so para sa mga uh, kakarating pala ngayon, mga first-timers, we welcome you here at Crossover. Pwede ba natin palapakan yung mga first-timers natin? Welcome po dito sa Crossover. This is your uh, a place to be every Wednesday night. You know, you, you can be somewhere else. You can be at the mall, sa Sinihan, or sa ibang lugar. But your friend who invited you really wants you to go here. Kaya pwede ba natin palapakan yung mga nag-invite? Yung mga regulars na walang sawa nag invite na kanila mga friends. You know, kaya kayo na-invite ng inyong mga friends dahil number one, mahal talaga nila kayo and they want you to really learn and live life to the fullest. And I know you miss each other after our week break. Sige itong na-miss mo yung katay mo? Sige mo yung katay mo, na-miss mo ba yan? After a week break because last week we just had our national national conference, right? Sige itong kanunod kasi national conference. Yeah, we've seen our international pastor, Pastor Cesar, Pastor Jorge, Pastor Bert from Africa, uh, Pastor Art from Hawaii, really ministered to us, and of course, our dear Bishop Orient Pastor Roger. And you know, as crossover issues tonight, we are uh, introducing another series, which pag-uusapan nga natin tonight is about having a maximum impact. Can you say this? Impact. Alright, ang maganda dito, no? Yung mga leaders natin, consistently, nire-remind tayo to live our life to the fullest. To live our life with significance and to live our life with impact. Maybe you're one of those people who wants to make a difference in your life. Sige ito, gusto mo pang gumawa ng mas malaki kesa sa ginagawa mo ngayon. Do you want that? Do you want to live your life with an impact? Doing something bigger than yourself and making a difference in your life? You know, after that thought, lagi naiisip ang bawat isa, pero paano? Paano ako magkakaroon ng time gawin yun? Paano ako magdadagdag pa ng mga bagay para gawin yun? Ang dami ko nang ginagawa ngayon. You know, the answer of creating an impact is not to do another thing, but to excel in what you are currently doing. And tonight, yan ang pag-uusapan natin dito sa crossover. So be excited. Pwede mo sabihin sa atin mo, be excited. And of course, before we go through that, magsisimula yun sa sarili natin. Kaya we will be having this activity wherein magkakaroon tayo ng mga reminiscing, okay? Magdadaan tayo ulit sa memory lane. So ano ba yung mga bagay sa buhay mo that really impacted your life? So let me show you these slides. And ang gagawin natin tonight is magugrupo tayo into three. Okay? So at least look for three people. Okay, sige, tayo tayo. <laughs> okay, let's all stand to make this engaging. I know, pag nakaupo kayo, medyo uh, you want to rest, galing lang sa work. Say mo nga sa atin mo, energy naman dyan. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, this is very simple. 
example, since we'll be talking about impacts, let's start from ourselves. Ano ba yung mga bagay na nag-impact sa'yo? And we will guide you in this. We will show you five scenarios wherein we want you to share to that group. Okay, do you have a group now? So at least three. Sige, go. Gather around, just three. At least three, at, at three people in a group. Okay, sa likod mo. Alright, sa likod mo, sa harap. Alright, as long as you have uh, Tina, so ganito lang gagawin natin, no? Magbibigay kami ng scenario and then mag-share kayo in that group nang naaalala ninyo yung experience na nag-impact talaga sa inyo. Okay? So sige, let's start, let's start. And then you start sharing, ha? Okay, our first is a quote. A quote from a book that influences you. Alright, ano yung quote na yun? Maybe you can, you can remember that and then you can share it in that group. So ang gagawin lang natin is just we will share based on the scenario, ano yung book na naalala mo, nabasa mo, that really impacted your life. Share that in the group, and then we will proceed with the next slide. Okay? Recently, we had just uh, two books na binigay sa atin sa national conference. We have the ABC of the digital version, and then the uh, Just One Drop of the Blood of Jesus. You know, yun, yun, yun yung mga book na recently nababasa ko. So, okay. Okay, we will give you just few time share. Kung ikaw talagang bookish ka, you can share a quote na nabasa mo na nag-impact talaga sa'yo. Alright. Sige. Let's just... Okay. Sige, I think that's enough. Let's move to the next slide. Okay, let's move to the next. Alright. So guys, ito naman. A painful but constructive correction from your leader. Alright. A painful but constructive correction from your Leader. Anything that you remember that really impacted you. Nagalitan ako pero constructive yung pagpapagalit sa akin talaga nagbago ako. Maybe a mentor, someone who guides you, who said something na pinalit ka but it's constructive and it really changed your life. Sige, start sharing to the group. It, uh, inspire those people na nasa group mo. Maybe someone, kung di man mentor, a friend, na nag-correct sa'yo. Masakit, pero may kirot, pero nabago ka nun. Nung correction na yun, nagaling sa friend ko. Alright, I think that's enough. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Ayan, words of wisdom na nanay mo na tumatak talaga sa'yo. Okay, this is the third that you will share. Ano yung words of wisdom na naaalala mong sinabi ng parents mo, ng nanay mo, na talagang tumatak sa'yo? Okay, go! Maybe when you were in college, talaga pinapapokus ka niya sa pag-aaral, medyo, medyo sumasablay ka nun because, because of your parents, i-remind ka niya, Tum umayos ka sa pag-aaral. Aha! Uh -huh. Pag nanay talaga, maraming makikwento eh. <laughs> Pagka uh, usapang nanay. Alright. Sige, just few more time. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay na? Okay na? Alright, sige, let's move to the next slide. We have two more. Two more that you can share. Alright, ano naman? Ito, bakit lahat tayo mahilig sa song set? A song that you listen to when you need to recuperate from stress. Okay? A song that you listen to. Ayan, madalas mga working professional, madalas, no? Yan ang ano natin, chill mode natin. Put your speakers, put your heads, headphones on, and then listen to the music. Sige, share that sa group. Ano yung song na yun? Yeah? Okay? Alright. Okay, great. Great. Okay, let's proceed with the last slide, guys. Last slide. Share this in the group. Your first... Oh, no. Joke lang. <laughs> Heartbreak. Pero, uh, specific naman, it could be a person, a missed promotion, a business, or endeavor that failed in the past. Okay? Hindi naman lang person. Okay. A, a, a heartbreak. Your first heartbreak. Alright. Go ahead. Share that to the group. Maybe because of this heartbreak, mas naging strong ka, 
because of the pain it did break you but it made you wala naman po umiiyak sa grupo niya no? <laughs> wala naman nagre-reminis na umiiyak po Okay, palapakan natin ang bawat isa. Uh, sorry, we cannot give you much, that much time, pero pwede mo ituloy yung usapan later, no? But uh, in this next, uh, meron pa tayong ilang minuto, no? I just want to ask personally from you. Okay, mag-interview tayo just one to two person. <laughs> from this five, ano yung pinaka uh, tumatak sa'yo? O ano yung pinaka naaalala mo na, na something that impacted your life that you can share about? Okay. Sige, from, from this area, ako mag-volunteer ko na siya. Palapakan natin. <laughs> Sige, palapakan natin siya. What's your name? Carlo. Carlo, palapakan si Carlo. Alright. Carlo, I volunteered you, ah. Sige, sige. But from this side, ano yung talagang naalala ng nag-impact sa'yo? And then, share about it. Um... So, yung sa akin po, ano, yung, yung painful correction, constructive correction from your leader. Um, nasa ano kasi, yung leader ko kasi, um, ano siya, um, kawork ko din siya. Tapos, um, ma long, matagal na oras din, matagal na panahon din ako naglalaro ng mga leader. So, yan, um, dahil sa ano, team building namin, nakita niya ako na, ano, na, na, Mobile Legends with my co-office mates. Well, tapos, um, then, sa harap ng mga co-office mates ko, um, sinaway niya ako na, sabi niya sa akin, oh, oh Carlo, kala ko ba hindi ka na nag-mobile Legends? Okay. So, yan, um, itanggap ko naman yung point na yun na mali ako. Kasi, um, hindi naman natin dapat sinasaya yung oras natin dun sa mga underlings. Mas mag-focus tayo dun sa mga taong mas nangangailangan sa atin kumpara dun sa stars. So, ayan. Um, well, uh, share ko lang din na sinagot ko na yung Mobile Legends. Tapos, after that week, um, that Sunday, nag-start ako mag-ano, mag-plan 40. Then, ngayon, nag-life guides na rin ako. Nasa lesson na yung nakangay. Wala pa si Carlo. Eh, you, can, you can take your seat, sir. You take your seat para makita na lahat. Okay, we have another crossover kada here who will share kung ano ba yung salima yung talagang impact sa kanya. A uh, great thing about Carlo, talaga tinake niya yung connection as constructive. You know, most of us, uh, just last night we had our meeting with Bishop Oriel and isa sa mga nire-remind niya is that everyone to be healthy. And pag ikaw healthy ka, you won't you won't be offended with correction. Sino siya sabi niya kagabi? You won't be offended. Pag kinorect ka, you will take it positively. Alright. Anyway, let's go to our second crossover kada who will share. What's your name? Johanna po. Alright. Johanna, ano sa lima yung talaga nag-impact sa'yo? And share something about it sa crossover kada sa'yo. Number four, we're talking about the nanay na tumatak sa'yo. Sa kami. Ayun po. Um, yung tumatak po sa akin, lagi po kasi sabi sa akin ng mother ko po, before pa talaga, sabi mo kakapatid na, dapat dito sa bahay, marunong kayong mag-ayos, marunong kayong mag-pusa. Para pag pumunta kayo sa work nyo, in the future, marunong kayong mag-pusa, disiplinado na kayo. Yung Alright, palapakan natin siya. Alright, thank you guys for being so engaging tonight. And you know, one thing that is so beautiful about this topic is that it is, it, it is really an impact, a significant sa buhay natin. You know, those things that you've shared impacted you. But the challenge tonight is how are you going to make an impact to other people? That's what we're going to find out as we tackle that here crossover. Good evening, everyone. What is crossover? 